Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. Boy was it a busy night. I managed to get in. I want to say all the grass. This this bits out there. It was dark. I missed bits. Got all the uh, the fresh grass off that meadow and off the other meadow. And I think I think I put one, maybe two, in the uh, the beef stock. But I put all that grass in here. Now, I'm going to flash up what I left feed-wise um, at 8 o'clock. I think it was about 8, 9 o'clock. I'll flash it up now. And now we'll have a look at what I have in here currently. So, emptied. All gone. All gone overnight. But, we've... <laughs> With us busting our balls trying to get some feed in here yesterday. We made £42,000 in milk overnight. Forty two grand. So they're going to be worth the effort if we can get to the stage where there is feed in here for them. It's going to go crazy. It's going to go absolutely crazy. Um, For feed now, there's no hay in here. I've got a few left over, I think. I say a few, probably got about 20, 30. So I could try and get some more hay in there today. We've got no more grass as of now. I need to get my barley sown. And then we can bring our cedar over and do our grass. So let's jump over and get that started. So you join me at field four. And I'm just showing you, we've got our course put in, and we're working that way around the field this time. We are set for our tram lines, so we should be able to get the four routes round, and then they'll drop the tram line on, I think it's over there, or over there somewhere, anyway. They'll, they'll drop a tram line and get started. So, let's turn that off. Start them up. We are still on barley for crop. We we'll jump out. We've got a bag of uh, seed over here. Should we need it? Um, I think they will run. Oh, they've stopped working already. What are they doing? It panics me when they do stuff like that. Looks like they've just run across. Why have they lifted? Why have you lifted? What are you doing? They're not sewing at all. What is going on? I'm going to have to jump to it, sorry. That's, that's not sewing, mate. What are you doing? Why are you driving so slow doing it? Okay, so they're starting there. Very confusing. I think they're skipping out the headland. Going straight on to the up and down. Okay, that's fine. If they skip out the headland, that's good. Because it'll work with the rows a bit better for me, I think. Oh, panics me. Panics me so much. Right. <laughs> Let's head back to the farm and get some work done. Trying to take care of our cows. Which again is going to involve us spending a little bit of time get some bales in there. I think for a little while at least that's what a large chunk of our time is going to be doing. I say that we could stick all these bales in this robot feeder and they'd be gone tomorrow. If we stick some... oh bloody camera. <laughs> if we stick some in I hate talking to you through the wall. If we stick some in at least we know they get some feed and I'm going to get some monetary return uh, to our monitor. Now, with our cedar out there busy, obviously we can't seed our grass until that field is done. But I think we're going to look into uh, buying another field. Buying a beet field. We might buy three. We've got money now. We might buy three fields. We might buy another meadow. A, corn, a field with corn in. And... A, a field of beating. 
we need the corn for our chicken. The base feed for chickens is corn. So if we get the corn in, we've already got the energy feed from the the wheat. So we don't need to worry too much. As long as they've got the first one in, they'll add the others in as they feed, from what I gather. And then after that, I think we want... Actually, I think they take... They probably don't take this sort of hay. They take a type of hay as roughage. Hay is roughage for all the animals, I think. Or a type of roughage. There are different roughages. So, uh, we'll see what happens with that. I don't really care what happened with these bales, though. Stacked them nicely. Now I just need them as quick as possible. But we'll get these three in. Uh, that should do us for at least the morning's feeds. So there'll be something in there for the cows. Uh, I believe the beef stock is still alright. Just assuming that. Just get this in. Lovely job. But we'll, we'll check on the beef maybe at the end of the day. <laughs> well, floaty physics. God, uh, Madness, I tell you. And, I mean, if we, if we do get that other grass meadow, we'll um, cut that, condition it, and uh, we'll get that in the clam, because I want silage. And then we'll have to hay our next big cut. So let's take a look at the map and see what is available and the prices, obviously. So this is going to be grass. This is grass. This is grass. We're cutting these two as well. And we're going to buy this. How much is it? 70,000 still. It is an increase of 13% or 36%. So is that an increase of 36%? Is that what that is? Yeah. Whew, it's like they know we need grass. I mean, there's a big meadow over here, but that's part of a field and a pasture. And wherever we go, we've then got to cart it back. Although that one's really cheap. That one's 20 grand. Probably about the same size, aren't they? If there was another one, that's a pasture. That's cheap. Is that a pasture? I th that one definitely is. This one might be. I think it is. Hectares. Hectares. 352. Sorry. Oh no, this is much bigger. According to that. Or acres, sorry. It's 20 a hectare. It's still more expensive though. But it is closer to home. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get that one. Okay, so next up we need to look for well we know that these are corn. So that is a 36% plus as well. Oh, it's just so much, isn't it? And that not certain how much corn we'll need. But I think that's pretty close to being ready. That's 80 grand, so we're going to buy 87 as well. See, this is why we're going to need more days or more time. And then, what we really wanted was sugar beet. By the looks of it, that's a big sugar beet. <laughs> An expensive one. Oh, that one's cheaper. Should we take that? That's quite cheap as well. We'll do that. We're going to buy that one. Oh my goodness, look how much look how much of the map we own. Oh dear, we are taking over. Taking over. On the map challenge. Point one. Right. So, actually we need to go back in there. Um, when are th <laughs> when are things ready? So that's got uh, one more stage at least to go. That's got another stage. Let's check. 
Uh, all that's all coming through in October. Let's check that. Yeah, sugar beet, October, corn. Ah, oh, corn? Oh, corn is October. I was saying, like, what? That's confusing, but that's there. Okay. Sugar beet, corn. We've got more grass to cut. So let's check. Sorry, this is going to be a, probably a map heavy day today. We don't do a lot in maps, so uh, we need samples. Sample that one. And what else did we buy? Grass. Sample. So next up, pH. Not too worried about. So we could quickly try and get some fertilizer on those fields and maybe on the meadow. Let's quick go have a look at that grass. Run, run, run. So yeah, we're down to 290 grand. We can check on here as well while we're here. Um, no, they're at hay as well, so I didn't see some hay in for those. I did put feed in on this one. I don't know how I walk into it when I need to come into the menu, but it's just uh, just habit. Angus, oh, they still have a little bit from the, the grass that I put in there, so they're, they're all right. Let's say there's only a hundred of them. There's a quarter of what we have in the other, so that does seem to last. Plus, they're only little, so to be fair, they're getting for it pretty quick. They're, you know, what, five, six months old, I think, if that. Got these piles of grass that I'm really going to have to get a little bit funny about leaving. I think going to have to clear our fields much better. Now we also probably, <laughs> probably, definitely not, maybe need to look into a bigger, quicker mowing setup. Getting right down the end could be a job for a, a new gate coming in down this way. Yeah. I think we need to look into a, a bigger mower setup, um, a twin back, or or maybe even a complete self-propelled mower, because we've got so much grass, it would just be quicker. This is ready to cut, isn't it? So there's no point in spraying that. So yeah, what we might do, since we've done a lot of grass work, I might set a worker up to come and cut for us. and. Do it so it cuts to condition in the rain. We can then get that rode up and put in the clamp, and then we can at least cover the clamp with maybe 400,000 litres in it. Turn the silage, grass silage. That's a start towards that. Then when it regrows, and well, end of October, November time probably, uh, we'll cut it all and try and do a big hay one, hay for roughage ore. So we might just fill it all with fresh grass. But we need hay to keep going for other stuff. It's, it might be a 50-50 split. Right, anyway. Uh, let's sort these workers out. Let's do that. So as is often the case, we've got the, uh, the mowers set up on the John Deere. That is definitely our big mowing set up these days. little fence coming in, although we don't want to come into the meadow part way through, do we? And there's trees there. It doesn't hurt to travel along, does it? I guess what we need to do is buy up that and absorb that into our land as well. <laughs> the plan never has been to own all of Maypole, but it looks like it's going to go that way just so we can feed a thousand cows. <laughs> Now I did notice that some of our cows are now uh, like 50, 52 months old, which actually isn't very old. But I, again, I don't know if there's an age when they stop reproducing or when they stop producing milk. So if you know that information, let me know. Is there an age that I really should be selling my cows? Is there an age that they stop uh, being financially viable for us? So let's go and find the Deutz and uh, do what we need to do with the Deutz. We'll do the uh, fertilizer with the Deutz. We won't take the Lambo 
need to do that. The doits should be fine. And it will uh, pop in some would-be uh, tram lines for us. We've done a little repair work on the doits. This cost us just shy of 600. Oh, that reminded me. Didn't the uh, John Deere need fuel? Have I forgotten to fuel the deer? Who oh, no. now? Shall I just quickly tab to it and find out? I hate tabbing. Yeah. I think that's going to be fine. I think that'll get through it. That'll do. Alright. I won't go to run over there and find out. Hopefully we have fertiliser. Now this is where I need to find out where I've put... Wait. Open. There it is. So why didn't the cedar open when I pressed that? That is strange. I just want to get rid of uh, that. Again, I need to uh, change the colour of my cursor. I lose it too easily. My old man eyes need a bright pink or something. Something that's not going to hide in the green. Oh, we've certainly got some fertiliser. I should imagine we're all out of power food. Uh, power food? Uh, mineral feed as well. That that silage grass is going to be no good getting all wet like that. It's a good job that's not a thing, is it? Clamp needs some cover. I'm not sure if there is a, a random shed big enough that I can just place over it. I'm sure I could uh, <laughs> go into the mods and stretch one and make it big enough. But... Right, we're going to pan out for this and we're going to need our map. We don't want to like that, we want to like that. So... Although we're not destroying any crops. Why is that? We have crop destruction on, I'm sure. We never turn it off. I mean, I was playing around on a different save earlier. Might have had crop destruction off there, just for the mess around, but I will just check. Obviously once I've finished, <laughs> if it's going to let us go through, it's going to let us go through. I will check. I, I don't, don't ever turn that sort of stuff off normally. It was something I was having a little mess about with on... Um, Say, yeah, on Calmston. That would have been about a week ago. I've destroyed crops since then. Definitely destroyed crops since then. Right. Let's just turn that off. Where are me sends? There we be. Um, crop destruction is on. Definitely my field. Yep, the number's blue. That was the right field. <laughs> Strange. We'll, we'll take it. Perhaps because the corn is that far grown, it just flexes. Yeah, this is the other one. Oh, it's, I'll tell you why. It's, it's tempting. I know I've got the money. It's tempting to buy that as well. We, we literally need a field of every available crop, <laughs> or every available crop type. Well, sunflowers, we never need sunflowers. <laughs> no one ever needs sunflowers. Oh, I thought I brought more fertiliser, look, I could have um, popped in there and done that. Perhaps we'll do that afterwards, we need to fertilise the canola anyway. So perhaps that'll be a part of today's uh, jobbies getting on the fur. Also we'll have a look at our production, see what we've got in the brewery, because that was supposed to be a thing last time out, and our day was ever so much consumed by uh, everything else. I've widened the uh, the tram line distance, and that looks better in there than it did in the uh, canola field, so uh, I'm happy with that. And it has just skipped the uh, the headland. 
and fl I don't think we're going to have enough fertiliser to uh, to do the whole next field. Probably should have brought some. Now I was watching someone else the other day, and they use a mod that puts like the uh, the shop delivery like right in front of them. They do it for everything. I'm not sure how comfortable I was with that, but they purchase something at the store and it would just appear in front of them at their tractors they can attach it. I mean they weren't trying to play overly realistic or anything, they went, you know, feature everyone to their own. It was super convenient, you know, they kept got to keep the flow of what they were doing and what have you. I just don't think that's maybe me and my style. Good mod though. I mean we can just you can just teleport one here anyway, without even using that mod, you just spawn one in. So I don't think there's, like, I just don't, don't understand the point or the purpose of it, unless it maybe charges you more for using it, which it probably does, that's probably the thing. Right. So this is ours. And that's not taken damage either. We haven't got... Are these narrow tyres for the Deutz, maybe? Like, they don't look it, but some tractors have narrow tyres, and they don't actually look all that narrow. I think that might be the case with our Deutz here. In which case, good stuff. I was thinking, that's not our farm over there, is it? Like, there may well be a shortcut back to our farm. We'll have to look into that for out here. Or we may have to make one. Do some uh, holes in the fence type thing. <laughs> I mean, the uh, the whole... Oh, the, uh, the... Going back in my last conversation. Um, I've used the concept of, oh, I've delivered it myself. Uh, to my location on Oot Bay when we were doing all that lime because I needed like 15 bags of lime and I did off screen I'm going to give away the secrets now off screen just spawned it all in and then deducted the money from uh, from my account so it's not like I'm completely against that but not for everything like that was a one off oh, this video is getting long and I need to get this job done That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> so anyway, what we'll do, we'll... Uh, there's no point in me trying to head off. I'll uh, head back to the farm. I'll refill the uh, fertiliser, and uh, I'll come back. After I hit this car. Our worker on the seed, and has... Uh, oh, there's another big field of corn. See what I mean? There's corn everywhere this year. Um, yeah, our worker on the seed and has uh, finished, or so they say. So we need to go back and do the headland ourselves. So once we've got this done, we'll we'll uh, drive by that way. We shall seed the headland. Probably get that bag of seeds that's laying there and use that to fill up the seeder. Head straight out to do grass. Should be. Uh, I don't think so in the grass, I don't think that'll take long. There's the uh, the small field and just the little strips. I'm not sure if it'll replant bits beside it where we've gone up the side of the field and stuff, but it's okay if it does, it's not, not a problem. I meant to check on the, uh, the grass cut and see how well they were doing. But me being, me being me, I forgot. Terrible. Went out there to do it. Wait, here we come. Swing her in, lad, swing her in. Boot her up. Oh, I forget how wide it is. She's thick. See, now, to be fair, that's the sort of width our tram lines should be. Because we can put a really big boom on our on our team. Is that forty odd feet into 
Whereas I think it's only set for 30. It shows it's 42 feet. And um, <clears throat> so I'm losing my voice again. This stuff is never going to go. I am honestly going to have this issue until the new year. So I do apologise about that. Yeah, I think I've got it set at 30. 30 metres. I'm sure this is 42 metres. Is it 42 feet? I'm getting confused. Doesn't take a lot these days again. Either way, we're getting there. Oh, the hill. The doincy does not like that hill. I guess we could scout out the, the gradiency of it. This is going to be a lot of beat. And we've got to figure out how we're going to get this out. <laughs> going to get it out of the ground. We'll probably put a, 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 a uh, purchase or lease again. Um, a trailed harvester. And then uh, one that sort of unloads on the fly type thing. Not, not like a self-propelled one, but one that we can pull. Hence why I said trailed. And then uh, have a worker doing that. And then we can just go beside it, unload take it where we need to take it, so I need to clear out a uh, storage bunker by then. I'm pretty sure just any one of them storages will uh, will take the beat. And then what we need to do is find out what equipment we need to uh, chop the beat. I'm sure uh, beet mulch as well works, so if we had like sugar processing, I think sugar processing would give us beet mulch as a byproduct, but obviously we'd lose a large percentage of it to sugar, which we don't really need. So yeah, there's 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 options going forwards. Beet beet is going to be interesting. Um, I have wanted to do beet for quite a while. I said about two years ago when I first not two years ago real life two years ago in game when we first started the. Uh, the beer and ales that there was something else I was going to look into and that other thing was going to be uh, spirits and whiskey I've got a spirits uh, mod as well and that would have required sugar and I wasn't going to do sugar cane here obviously because you know that would be insane um, so I was going to go down the sugar beets route and I was keeping track of where a few sugar beet fields were and then sort of the ale it just takes so long to be fair, it just takes so long. So what? So the, uh, the that extra project went on the, on the side, and now we've got Maze Plus, and all the action happened with uh, cows. So there's definitely uh, a bit of a backbone on that one. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll sort this field out, get this one done, and then we can uh, get some more grass in the ground, and then. When we get up there to do the grass, we can see what is going on with our mower, because they are taking a long time. I think I've set them up wrong. Somehow. Somehow, some way. Right, start the engine first, sir. And looking at it, I don't want any... Just get rid of that. If I put it to manual, then we won't get any trams. will however get this back have to power lift it see it opens when I bring the bag next perhaps it's just an auto one and I think the fill for it is actually quite high because if the bag is on the floor it doesn't register it but I'll, I'll use the same button and it doesn't open so this just doesn't have an open function that's all it is confused me so much. So I swear that's where I put it, because I moved them all about so I could have more convenient button layouts. But I've done that before, and then uh, had stuff in the wrong place, so it would not surprise me if I had messed it up. But I shall, uh, yeah, just quickly whip round here. I'll do two, because I've got to get these patches where the, uh, where the worker has missed it as well. still want as much barley as I can get, because I do want the, uh, the brewery, I do want that to be a success, and if we're going to have periods where we're not making milk money because I'm running out of feed, then we need to make sure we're making money elsewhere. 
Uh, before we start, I did uh, pop up to the greenhouses and I've topped up the manure in the back row of greenhouses. The front ones do that automatically, they draw from the manure heap in front. We will need to uh, top up uh, water soon. Probably, I say soon, probably be November. Uh, seeds are fine. I did that uh, behind the scenes a few episodes ago now. So that's been done. So seeds and manure should be fine. We need to do water when we get the chance. Uh, surprisingly, that takes uh, quite a while to do because they consume a large amount of water and the fill of all things, the fill of that trailer from the water tower is rather slow. That's why a lot of that gets done behind the scenes. It's all up there. It's, we visit every now and then when we have to do some packing or I say sometimes the manure. The water we don't see so much unless it's the last one or two because it just takes forever to fill up that tanker. It's a pretty big tanker. But it does take a long time. But just with the water, when we were doing milk via the same tanker, the milk didn't take as long. So I, I think it's a combination of the tanker and the uh, water tower rather than just one or the other. I don't know. I'm just guessing that so not to slag either off. <laughs> it's just a combination of the two. But this doesn't take long. Again, I think the, the work is just missed the headland because of the way I set them up. don't know why sometimes it seems really finicky on the way it's going to go and then another time it doesn't matter where you put it it'll just shoot off but that is 100% again me and the way that I'm setting them up and uh, not the mod not the vehicles not the machinery all human programmer error so we're going to lose some of these trams at the top here but that's okay done. So we have got, let's just fold that up, two uh, barley fields sown. Top one is sown, this one is sown. See if I, ooh, sorry mate. Quickly, if I quickly whip round with the doits and then uh, I can get this to follow me back. Hopefully there's enough in here. I doubt it again, but you can see. So uh, I'll do this, you don't have to watch me do this, and uh, try and get back to the farm as quick as possible. So fertiliser spread, we're just waiting for the traffic to clear. Uh, the Deutsch should follow on behind, hopefully. I'm just going to get in the way of that car, just so that the Deutsch has a chance to get out. If not, that'll get stuck. I'll still have to go back and get it not fertilised this field, we probably have enough in the fertiliser spreader for it, uh, because we did manure all of our fields beforehand. Some patches there where it didn't sow, I've got to get better at that. I need to set an overlap, a greater overlap, that's what it is. But that's fine, that's good. Let's just check he's here. He's not, so I'm going to have to go back and get him. Uh, I think he's stuck behind... Traffic, no, the traffic's despawned and he's now moving. Just looking on the mini map. Yeah, I think you got stuck behind traffic, but once you get far enough away, as long as you've not gone too far that the worker leaves, the traffic despawns and they should follow on. He's stuck again. Lord knows. I think because I weaved over the road, he's going to follow that route. It's going to keep him traffic. See, he might eventually catch up. If he does, he can follow me around the field. <laughs> when I so, I don't know if he'll just start fertilising. Though I doubt it. Not one hundred percent on that. So if we change that straight up to grass, I'm just going to roll into it, people. Uh, unfold. I don't think he's coming. Then I'm going to have to go back and get him. Right, lower it down, get it going. Oh, 
I'll, uh, I'll do as I do. I'll do a headland. We don't have to worry about um, trams, obviously, because it's a meadow. I'll try and get as close as I can, though. Getting overlap. Yep, he's not coming. Although it's not popped up, but my worker has stopped. I, don't, I didn't see it pop up, anyway. I'd love it if he just suddenly shot across the meadow and join us rubber band like Mario Kart. But yeah, this is going to be a monster meadow now. You know, if we can get some crazy amounts of grass, we may find that we don't need that one as a grass meadow. The not obviously that one, but the new, the new one. I think we're just always going to need more grass. We're always going to need grass silage. We're going to need hay. We're going to need fresh grass. All these things are going to be a must continuously. And I think if we could get a self-propelled mower that would make the world the difference or if we could get a if we could get a forage harvester do it that way because then we could use it to forage corn and whole crops because they all work towards different feeds and provide different parts of the feed mix so that's that's an option. Or I could just get a, a bigger two-piece mower. We've got bigger tractors. We'd have a front and back, a double uh, butterfly back, and uh, the single front. Because we've had our mowers for a long time, we've changed them out before and gone for something different, and then I've changed them back pretty much to what we had to start with. So. Maybe now, what, five years in? It wouldn't be a bad thing to get some fresh mowers. For, just for gameplay, if anything else. There's plenty of options out there. Something that'll look nice on the Lambo or the New Holland. But with the size of everything that's growing, I mean, if we get bigger mowers to go on a tractor, then that puts the Deutz and the uh, the John Deere sort of out of the picture for a lot of work because they can't do the seeding. They can they'll just be doing well fertilising and a bit rolling probably. So if we go down that route, my son's just woke up, so I just have to go. Excuse me. I do apologise if you can hear too much noise in the background. His mum's going to try and uh, settle him back to sleep. He's still not well, bless him, so he still uh, wakes up and gets a bit upset. He's only little. He's allowed to get upset. Poor little man. Anyway, I was saying... Uh, yeah, the, other than those jobs for the smaller of the tractors, and I think they're mediums, or are they smalls? They, uh, they aren't going to have a lot of life, so it could be a case of getting another medium or even pushing to a large. We've got large medium tractors, we've not got a large tractor yet. So these are more things that are going to have to be uh, thought about and looked into, because the farm is growing. It's growing nicely. It's, it grows in spurts, that's for certain. I mean, it, it's sort of exponential compared to how it was going for so long with just the meadows and one, one field, meadows and one field, to now probably about 25% of the map is ours, which is cool, but it needs to be worked. And to work it, we need machineries, and we're going to start to need duplicates. Because that'll be another way of getting around having to add more more days or shorten our days would be to, you know, have two seeders, have two sets of mowers, have, you know, two you know, two of everything really. So doubling the cost of the farm. And then that's only viable if we're making the milk money. Oh, the neighbours' dogs are all out of now, so maybe you'll get more noise. <laughs> I do apologise. Semi-professional. But yeah, 
So we've got all that to uh, look forward to. But I think one way of getting around some of this is going to be to have a little time lapse. So uh, let's crack on with it. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try at anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days because all i want and i pray so i think once we get that little bit done what i just missed that'll be all of this year's so and done i'm still gonna save the other big field for next spring because I think we're going to need more of stuff like bee corn. That could become a big corn one. And the one that's got corn in can become uh, maybe something else. Let's try and uh, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's the grass planted. Hopefully that'll be alright. Now what we do need to do is go and find out what happened to the doits. So I'm going to go find that. Well, Deutz nearly made it back. It sort of lost its way about here. I <laughs> don't know what happened to it. But we'll get that back. And our mower, our worker that was cutting the grass, has stopped because they've reached their fuel limit. Like, they were obviously... The worker, surprisingly enough, isn't stupid enough to run out of fuel. Of all things. <laughs> So we need to go and fuel that up so I can get them going again. As you can see, we've got the tiniest, tiniest bit of fuel in there. So where was the way out? Out there. Something I need to get used to. And we're going to go crazy and we're going to go all the way to the... Uh... Well, actually, no. We might... Is it lazy if I get it ordered to the farm? We've got the we've got the refill point. Is it lazy? We'll, we'll, what we'll do? We'll drive down and we'll refuel this, and then order some from the farm that we can use for future. I think that's that's how I'll uh, equate to that. I don't like ordering it to the to the refill points we use it straight away. I like there to be like that delivery period, so uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go fill up. As I got about halfway here, it only just registered in my head that we didn't set our mowers to condition. So if I want to put that grass in the clamp, I need to go around and ted it, then rake it, and then the clamp. So, I might be lazy and say that's our silage for this cut. Clamp it up. Or compact it, clamp it up. And then just row the, the fresh grass, row it up, and put all that in the dairy cows just so we can get some more money. Because we're going to need to lease or buy. Um, well, we need a harvester for the corn plus header. We're going to need harvester equipment for the beet. I don't want to buy bigger mowers, whether it be self-propelled or, 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 or just bigger mowers. I think we need to be able to get through it a bit quicker than what we're doing. Not sure how many self-propelled mowers there are. Whether there's just the, uh, the chrome one, or whether we've got some others. I've no doubt there's a John Deere one. There was a John Deere before. So we could replace our John Deere mower tractor with a John Deere mower. So I guess there's that. All 
some stuff to be looked into for future episodes. But I'm going to get my worker set back up doing uh, doing this. Then uh, we shall probably get my Aris in the doits and fertilize some fit. Actually, no, I want to say fertilization for tomorrow. Next time out, we're going to. Like I said, we're going to do the production stuff. We're going to get them on track. We haven't visited them in a while. So next time out, we'll definitely be doing productions. Maybe a bit of fertilising. So I'll I'll come out and I'll I'll grow this up while the worker finishes cutting it. And I'll just get that in the uh, hand of the feed troughs. So that'll be it for today's episode. It's another long one, I'm afraid. I do apologise for that. I don't do it on purpose. It just happens because of the jobs we've got doing. And I'll let's try and explain stuff that's going on. I know you don't want to stick to it through it all or you maybe you watch bits and bobs. So for those that are here at the end and have watched the whole episode, I thank you so much, so much. You're doing wonders for the channel. You are the special ones. Uh, don't forget to come and join us on Discord if that's your thing. I uh, said before, I know it's not everyone's thing. If you would like to be part of that, we have the Discord going all sorts happen there but if you have enjoyed today's episode please give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are live as always comments and feedback down there let me know what you think how are you feeling about the new fields what do you think about plans for new equipment what would you suggest all good stuff pop it down there let me know some of it I might even act upon. So, have yourselves a wonderful day. I've got more grass work to do. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.